So I don't actually have a broom because it's almost 30 degrees in this room and I'm sweating like Jimmy Savile in a playground. I've just had a cup of coffee as well whilst I was perusing news sites and if I have any more caffeine I'll be bouncing off the walls. I didn't have any sleep last night either because I, my sleeping pattern's fucked and I'm trying to get it unfucked. So I stayed up all last night and then uh, I'm going to go to bed early tonight. But anyway, um, there was a few um, things that came up in the news which kind of annoy me very, very much. The first one is that uh, the Prime Minister of the UK, David Cameron, wanker that he is, wants to have online pornography blocked automatically for new and existing customers uh, of ISPs in the UK. And this is under the guise of stopping child pornography and stopping um, stopping sexual assault and stopping smutty stuff getting into the minds of children. Now the first thing obviously is a little bullshit to do with child pornography. Um, because basically, if you're a paedophile, you don't use the public internet to share your um, your indecent images of children. Because if you do that, then you're going to get caught quite easily. Um, so what you use is things like Tor, you'll encrypt stuff. Uh, because if you don't, then you're kind of stupid and you will get caught. Um, so that's kind of a non-issue. So that's number one. Number two is the sexual assault stuff, which I'm not even going to go into. They basically want to block violent porn and rape porn and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into that because it's going to lose me subscribers. All the feminists are going to get really annoyed and insulted and I don't really want to have to deal with that. So I'm going to brush over that fact because nobody will, pretty much nobody will agree with me and I'll get a lot of hate for it. And uh, I don't, as much as I don't care about other people's opinions, which is why I'm wearing this t-shirt today, I don't particularly fancy having to uh, lose those subscribers and, and all that other stuff because people just generally agree. Really, it's gone very foggy outside all of a sudden, which is weird. Um, but yeah, I don't really want to have to explain myself to people, and, and so I'm not going to even go there with that. And the last thing goes against, well, it's to do with stopping children looking at dirty images of things. Now this is the thing that really annoys me. Um, TD90 UK on, on Twitter, uh, who I disagree with on most things to be fair, but I don't disagree with him on this, this point. Um, and he said that, um, that the government and ISP shouldn't be responsible for... Um, what children see, it should be down to the parents because they are parents. It's their job to parent children and to look after children and to, and to control what they see and to a certain extent what they do. Um, and I, I agree with him, um, you know, probably on 100%. Like, you know, pretty much that is my opinion on things. And so it isn't down to the ISPs and it definitely isn't down to the government to decide as to whether or not uh, well, uh, to, to block pornography because they're going to try and protect children. It should be down to the parents setting up things like parental controls to stop kids having access to pornography. And it's not difficult. It isn't difficult to do. The thing that annoys me is nobody knows how to use technology at all. Um, majority of people don't have a fucking clue how technology works, how to use it or anything like that. They just click a load of, load of buttons, hope that it works, don't read error messages, that sort of thing. And it kind of really annoys me because users are idiots. They just are. I mean, I, I, got, I said that in an interview once. I didn't get the job because it was... I don't... To be, to be honest, I should have got the job because I was the best person for the job, but apparently because I said that users are idiots, I didn't get the job. Even though it's true, users are idiots. Most users are completely utter idiots. They don't know how, the, how to use computers. They don't know how to use technology. Not only that, they haven't got any common sense either in the real world about how, how to use things anyway. Because um, they just don't. So if you don't have parental... And it's, not, it's really not difficult. It's not difficult to do. You can do it through your router. The Virgin, the Virgin Superhub, which uh, Virgin Media Superhub, which is a piece of shit anyway, has got a really intuitive interface, and you can change parental controls in that really easily. You can block things like BitTorrent traffic, you can block social media, you can block specific websites if you want to, you can block porn, you can block gambling, you can block all sorts of stuff within the router. It's really simple to do. It takes five seconds, and boom, you're done. The second thing is you can do it within Windows, and you can do it within Mac. You can easily do it, especially within Windows 7. I mean, Windows 7, Windows 8, you know, the family the family centre and the safety centre, so easy to use. My mum set it up, and she it took her, like, five seconds to do it. Was just, it took no time at all. And she was really pleased with herself when she did that. And she's a big technophobe. I mean, she managed to set up scheduling in there. She managed to do all sorts of really funky things, which, you know, would have taken me... Not necessarily challenging for me, but it would have taken me a while to do. 
um, things like scheduling, things like um, filtering the internet and stuff like that. Because she, well, you know, I come from a big family. Um, I'm one of six children, and you know, they have a family PC, and, and the best one in the world. They can't keep an eye on what the kid, uh, what my siblings get up to on the computer all the time because they just can't. You know, they've got jobs, they've got other things to be doing, they've got you know. Um, meals to cook and things like that um, insert a joke about it being an orphanage uh, as much as you want but and the, and, the, and that's not difficult to do and if she can do it down than everybody else can do it that's no offence to her but she's quite a technophobe but she's still she's more switched on than most people to be fair um, because she openly admits she's not very good with the computers and she doesn't try to she doesn't try to um, pretend that she knows what she's talking about because she doesn't um but anyway, uh, that's that's not really even the point. But the annoying thing is that people don't take responsibility for themselves to put the parental controls on the PCs and to put parental controls on the routers and stuff like that to block access to these sites in the first place or to actually even monitor what their kids go on. It's not difficult to do. It really isn't. It's so easy to do. And if you don't know how to do it, just Google it. It's so easy. Microsoft have got some really, really great articles. I'm not going to put them in the description below. Just Google it. If you don't know how to do it, you shouldn't be using your computer and you shouldn't have the internet. It's as simple as that. That's just that's just the nature of it. If you don't know how to use something, don't have it. It's just like having a chainsaw. You shouldn't have a chainsaw if you don't know how to use a chainsaw. Because you can hurt yourself. And I know it's not as bad. Like The internet and computers aren't that bad. But it's, you should treat them like you treat electricity, like you treat um, water, like you treat gas. You get, need to get professional people in to teach you how to do it. And not just rely on the fact that you think you know what the hell you're doing. You don't. There's a reason why people like me charge people like you a lot of money. That's why I can charge people easily £20 an hour to teach them how to do something or to set something up to fix a problem. Because things are difficult and things are difficult for a reason. Because we don't want people like you dicking around with things. What the fuck is that? Very weird conversation I've had with somebody who was asking about next door as to whether or not it was empty or not. So I should bloody know the ins and outs of my neighbours. I don't really give a shit. Anyway, what I was talking about, sort of rudely interrupted by this woman, um, was about, yeah, people not knowing how the fuck to use stuff. And and basically it is say it's just really annoying. It's just it's just not not needed. There's no reason to police the internet like that. It's just not necessary. And David Cameron will probably U turn because that's what the Tory party do anyway. But there you go. And the second thing I wanted to discuss was another Pfizer thing. Um it's a really interesting article, actually. From uh, it's from BuzzFeed, which I didn't actually pick up on. It, it was uh, released on the nineteenth, I think. And it actually, I've only picked it up because it was on it on the main page of Engadget this morning. And I don't actually generally check BuzzFeed because although it's a great website, it has a lot of stuff on it, and I can't really check it all the time. Um, and Engadget, as much as it's a bit of a shit site now, um, they actually collect quite a lot of funky stuff. But anyway, uh, Pete Ashdown, who's the CEO of X Mission, a Utah-based ISP, it's a really, really small ISP, um, has kind of spoken out about um, Pfizer and uh, the. Pfizer request they had and the 2U server they had installed in their data center that uh, basically monitors a specific website um, that didn't really have much really in the way of anything nothing to do with weapons nothing to do with insulting racial hatred or anything like that it was just quite a, apparently a very bland website and didn't really have much on it and um, and basically they had this Pfizer uh, warrant that came through that basically said they weren't allowed to talk about this Pfizer warrant and they also had to assist the federal government in installing uh, this hardware. Um, and that was kind of that really. Um, and he's basically spoken out about it. Um, it's a really interesting article worth reading through. Uh, I'm not going to go in too much in depth, well I'm not gonna really going to go into too much depth about the whole thing because Ugh, it's just another Pfizer thing, and I'm not even really going to repeat what I say every time the Pfizer thing comes through. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it to be honest. Um, the 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 pornography thing is very annoying, and um, I'm, it's been banded about for quite a while. And uh, if you are as infuriated as I am, write to your MP about it. Um, write to your elected representative of you. Um, find out who who that person is within your constituency. Write to them. Uh, if you don't write to them, then you don't have any say in the matter at all. You can't complain about it because if you're not actually being proactive in a democratic society, so the reason we have a democratic society, then you do not deserve to have an opinion uh, as to whether or not uh, whether or not this sort of stuff goes on, basically. And they will reply to you. Um, I've never ha I've never not had a reply from MP. I always get a reply from MPs either via email or via letter, um, and 
most of the time it's actually positive. Um, most of the time they're on your side. Most of the time they say yes, we agree with you. Yes, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go to Parliament. I'm gonna say this, that, and the other. So definitely worth doing. And especially uh, same, you know, goes for any country. If you if you're in, um, you know, uh, you, it's your right to write to your uh, elected representative. You elected them in. They represent you. Let them, you know, let them speak for you because that's what they're there for. Um, and if you don't use that power, then you're stupid, basically, and you don't deserve a say in anything that goes on within the democratic society. Um, but anyway, I think that's pretty much it. Only thing to end with is this competition still going. You can win a uh, white lens mug, an Avengers Assemble, um, or you can win a Happy Feet and two uh, lens shot glasses. Um, Basically, what you need to do is you need to send an email to asychill at gmail.com with a separate line competition. And the main body of the email, you need to put your full name and your location. So if it was me, it would be Plymouth, United Kingdom. Um, maybe, maybe if you lived in Washington, D.C., it would be Washington, D.C., USA. That sort of stuff. Toronto, Canada, wherever you are in the world. Um, rules for it, basically, um, it's only open to people in the EU uh, and Russia and North America. Basically because of, well, number one, postage, um, and number two, um, it's a real pain in the ass to send stuff to the Middle East because of customs and shit like that. Australasia, I'm not going to send things over there because it costs too much money and postage, so I'm not going to do that, unfortunately. And there is hardly anybody that watches my videos is in those countries anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, no restrictions on age. It does close on the 1st of August at 1900 BST, which is 7 o'clock British summer time, so only uh, 7 o'clock in the UK. Um, and there's no age restrictions, but uh, I will I'll e I'll inform people via email whether or not they've won, and then all you need to do is send me your address, and I can send it out to you. I'll then also chat you out in my video when you win. I'll just select uh, two people at random, uh, and then they'll win something, and I'll send it off to whoever. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So I shall catch you in a later video.